it's not only about the man who wrote the Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. It's about it's about friendship and not to quote the film's trailer, but fellowship. Um, about you know wanting to change the world through the power of art, and so that's what we expect to give to you. You get to see the man behind the work. You get to see a young man who steals buses. You know he's a rebel. You know he gets up to mischief. Um, and you, get to see, you get to see a lot of that, a lot of humanity in him. The story of Tolkien is obviously the story of one man's imagination and what caused him, or you know, what were the influences that led him to write the, some of the greatest books of all time. But for me, the, the, it's, the film's really about love and about friendship, actually. It is, there is a grand romance in the centre of it, but uh, for me it was always actually about the friendship amongst a group of men, a group of boys who grew up together, who pushed each other, who wanted to change the world through the power of art, and who unfortunately then went into the Great War and died. And that, that, but that journey of friendship was what really attracted to me in the first place, and I think is the, one of the sort of central themes of Tolkien's work. Um, I think the the world, I mean, the worlds that he created, and he was, you know, obviously such a beautiful writer. I think it's friendship, friendship and love, um, and also taking your troubles and turning them into something very, very beautiful. It's a story about finding the thing that, that you're in love with, you know, whether it's language or, or drawing or poetry or whatever that, that, can, that is, that, that you embrace that and you find people that can, you know, inspire you to, uh, to follow. Love, courage, loss, uh, friendship, and we basically, you know, saw the spectrum of human emotion in a story that we never knew about from a guy who wrote the story about everything we knew about. The audience will feel, they will laugh, they will cry, they will fall in love, and they'll be inspired. They'll be very inspired to tell stories, share stories, and believe in friendship and love. Those stories kind of grew up to me, and I kind of followed that read more, read more. Then 30 years later, I read this you know, tale of friendship and love, and I found out that he had the same feeling, you know, being an outsider and finding manically wanting to find friends and finding a place to belong. And I think that's something, there's an emotional kind of connection there that I felt it was very important to tell this. But I think what it surprised me is the story of, you know, a young man, you know, becoming an orphan, you know, being poor, you know, and then slowly and slowly finding his own voice, finding his own, own imagination and dwelling and the film, I tried, I always wanted to show how his imagination builds, how he confronts his own imagination and how he then uses that imagination to build those stories. So I think it reveals a side of his life that we don't know about. I hope it's a journey of inspiration. And you know, it's a story of friendship, it's a story of love, it's a story of creation, it's a story of imagination, but also inspiration. That I hope, like, still when I watch it, I watch these young men, you know, they uh, being inspired about each other and kind of the love of life and the enjoyment of life. And I, I tend to get that myself. You know, I walk out of the cinema kind of a bit inspired. And that's what I hope that people can take from this film. Well, the film's about Tolkien, about the Tolkien that I grew up reading his stories, his his novels. Then we all watched his films, and it's a, this this is about him now, about his him as a young man, his relationships, his friendships, his him falling in love, and um, how perhaps he was inspired um, by his early life to write those stories, which are such a part of our cultural consciousness. You know, it's just incredible because he's such he's done such a, a big thing for loads of people, you know. The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit have just been a massive part of people's lives. Tolkien is the story of J.R.R. Tolkien, who is responsible for things like Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. And our movie dives into his childhood and the origins of a lot of the stories that we know so well. And it talks about his uh, brotherhood and his fellowship with his friends, as well as his relationship with the love of his wife, Edith, who I play. And she was the inspiration for the Elven characters, Baron and Luthien's story, and uh, many other elements to his fantastical worlds.
I think we're going off into a, a very realistic world um, of, of a period where there was war, there was turmoil, but there was also a, a, a love of language and fantasy and finding the magic in the everyday. And I think that we really pay tribute and homage to the world that, that Tolkien created and the films that Peter Jackson created, as well as showing the realistic side of what they were all going through at the time and, and what created those stories. It's about his formative years, about um, uh, he was orphaned at a young age, and then it's about him finding friendship and love and uh, his experiences during the war and all, all those uh, events that inspired his stories. Foremost, I was a fan of his work, and then, and then he had this incredible story that I knew nothing about, so learning about him and realizing that essentially his life experiences were, was a story that couldn't stand alone. Um, so that, and I just thought, yeah, Dome was going to be the right director to bring that to life. Uh, love, fellowship, friendship, war, loss, creativity. I think what's what's new about this film and what you learn about Tolkien, which I, I personally didn't know about, and I think it's kind of we know about his works and we know about you know the books and and his films and his incredible sort of gift for languages and but the life that he lived himself was so epic and he had such an incredible story himself that I think it needs to be told. This is just an insight into his life as a, as a young as a young man. Um, we've never seen anything like this before. We we don't know what Tolkien's life was like. Loyalty, companionship, uh, love, relationships, um, friendships, uh, a close bond of four who use each other to to reach their goals and their dreams, which is something that's really inspiring because I think that's what friends are there to are there for like you know there if you have a dream and you really want to pursue it the good friends are going to be there who wants who are the ones who've got your back and if you ever hit the canvas they're going to be the ones to tell you to get back up and lift you back up and keep on fighting